I thought we were just gonna get away with a small fill-in this week, but it turns out we got another big one for y'all. You want something? Go get it. Period. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole, if you are new. Thanks so much for clicking on this week's grocery haul. We went to Sam's Club, Walmart pickup. We have a Thrive Market order that was delivered the day we did our Walmart pickups. I think that's the only stores we went to. We ran into my local grocery store, Rouse's, to pick up two things, so I'll show you guys that. But let me take it down to the counter and show you all the things we got this week in preparation to get us set and also a couple of things to stash away for back to school. $101 Sam's Club drive up. We did the pickup again. That does include some Halloween Pirates booty. That's not in store yet. They're shipping it because I'm a Plus member. And I did use $9 and some Sam's cash back. So $101 for everything and the stuff being shipped. And then we ran into Aldi and we spent $42.71. And also Rouse's, we got a couple of deals. So not much at Aldi for $42, I will say. They're black berries what were they last week a dollar 99 they're on sale this week for a dollar 99 they're really good though and trey loves them so we got two i did get some more raspberries because they're the cheapest around me anywhere sam's and walmart has lost their mind on the raspberry price i don't know what's going on but last week they were pretty good these look really juicy so i had to get those to add to yogurt and trey loves them too I've been getting the peaches at Walmart. We went through that entire two pound bag. The boys have been loving them too. They're the same price as Walmart. They were on sale this week for a buck 99, but they just look so big and pretty and you don't have to buy them in a bag. You could buy them individual. So that was kind of nice. I did get a package of the Love and Fresh Aldi brand hamburger buns. They're 110 calories a bun and they're we're cheaper than the Walmart brand. We're gonna be doing some new type of burger next week. It's a Pinterest recipe. I'm gonna do mine lettuce wrap just because I, I like lettuce wrap burger. I like the flavor of the meat and the cheese and I feel like with a bun depending on what type of burger it is but with a bun a lot of times it masks all the flavor and all I can taste is bread but I know the boys will like buns so that's why I got those got some almond milk and the vanilla for my protein coffee look guys I was able to get the egg whites and a lot of y'all said to get them from Sam's y'all know I used to haul them from Sam's all the time y'all let me know if your liquid egg whites are back to like eight dollars and 44 cents for the however many pack a lot of y'all said y'all's was mine has been like 17 dollars for a pack my club hasn't had them in a while so I don't know what's going on but y'all let me know the situation with the egg whites at your Sam's Club but we got two of those because y'all know the drill and it's so much cheaper. However, guys, the boys are still with me when I'm shopping, and this pained me because this is the price of like two of the Moo Tubes, the Aldi brand. They're obsessed with the turtles. We are going to see the movie this weekend and going to eat pizza and all the things. So we got the Ninja Turtles yogurt tubes. You get mutant watermelon and shell shocking strawberry. For the price I'm popping up, I mean, I guess it is what it is. Treat them every once in a while. Did get a big box of the Frosted Flakes. This is the 26.8 ounce because they are low on cereal and we still have about a week or so until school starts. And that's, they eat the most cereal in the summer. They really don't eat cereal that much um, on the weekends when they're not in school. So Waylon picked out the Frosted Flakes as his and the Hub's favorite. I did get two of the ground chickens were on sale versus Walmart. It was a little bit cheaper. They're usually the same price. Ground chicken's such a great like macro hack, guys, for the price. Now I'll know the lean ground beef is, you know, so expensive right now, but for a, what is it? Four ounces, yeah, is 160 calories and 22 grams of protein, guys. So if you don't mind ground chicken, it's way more cost effective right now for like your goals, all right? And it's not that much more. I think 96% is 140, that's 160. If you can fit it, go this route and save some cash. But we are doing the ranch chicken tacos. The owner of the boys have been loving that and I do that every other week. So I try to do something for me in the hub, something new. The next week we do tacos and then I keep alternating and flip-flopping it right like that just because it's nice for me not to have to make separate meals. For lunch next week, I'm making some buffalo chicken bowls for lunch and I'm gonna put some blue cheese in it. I think that's why I got that so cheap at Aldi. So I went ahead and got a container of blue cheese 
And then I did get the mango chunks from Aldi. They don't have them at Sam's anymore. It was like a, a one hit wonder. I don't know what's going on. I guess it's just sold out. I haven't gone in club though. Y'all know how they play us. The mango chunks from Aldi is 24 ounces for the price popping up. It's the next cheapest place just to have on hand. I still have a bunch of the fresh that I cut up from Sam's Club. And that's all I got at Aldi for the price that I told you guys. Now we ran into Rouse's because their cherries were $1.77 a pound. That's cheaper than Walmart. Y'all know Walmart has been the cheapest around me and they look really pretty and I've been loving the fresh fruit. You guys know 99 cents for all their colored bell peppers. That's a great deal. And I cut this up for tray for lunches. So that's what I ran into Rouse's for. Sam's Club. Okay, so they made a boo-boo in my favor. I'll tell you guys about. We got blueberries again this week because they are such a killer deal and they were sweet last week. So I was happy for that. Hopefully these are too. They look ginormous though, like blueberries on steroids. Here for it, I guess. We got some of the grape tomatoes and the hubby has been digging into these two for lunches. So we're flying through them. So I got that for him and Trey is their current favorite. Their also favorite is the Grand Southern Homestyle Buttermilk Biscuit. Y'all, I've been getting like one or two of these a month. It's been crazy, but they have been loving it. We also did breakfast for dinner a couple of nights this month, so that's why they're flying a little bit faster. So I had to re-up on that. And then Waylon informed me that these Orida Golden Crinkle French Fried Potatoes Fries are the best french fries ever and i would have to agree with him i think i'm partial to these two and for a serving it's 100 calories so they're great macro friendly and they're substantial they're not like puny french fries some of these french fries you get the bag and it's a bunch of like little short ones i feel like these are long and nice and they taste good and they go well in the air fryer so that was a killer deal for an eight pound family size like we're gonna have fries for days Probably not. And then I did get some more of these Go Snack Toppers. I've been loving these so much. They're individual little chicken breast packs. That's all it is. And it's 170 calories and 30 grams of protein. Yes, it's cheaper to just cook up chicken yourself and all the things, but this is for convenience. Y'all know the easier for me, the better. So I went ahead and got this because I've been loving this for a quick lunch option. This was a boo-boo. I only ordered one. They only charged me for one. But I got two, so Lord, I hope we like this Frank's Red Hot in the dill pickle. Have y'all seen this? Is this new to Sam's? It says it's a limited edition item, and I love Frank's Red Hot. Y'all know this is like my hot sauce of choice, and the dill pickle flavor. I didn't see it at Walmart to get like just one bottle to try, so we're going to give that a go, but I got four bottles for the price of one. Thank you, Sam's Club. I will take it. And then we did spend most of the money was on freaking candy. The price on candy last year was cray, and it's cray this year. Lord have mercy. Have y'all seen the prices of candy? Like, uh, that will deter you from eating bad stuff because how much this stuff costs. But I always get the holiday M&Ms. Y'all know way in advance because by the time it's Halloween, they've got Christmas out, and it sells out so quick, at least by my club anyway. Anyway, so I have to buy these and put them away. So I did get one of the M&M's, just the plain M&M's and the, I love the green, the orange and the purple. Y'all know Halloween is my jam. So I had to get that. I'm going to be adding this stuff to candy jars when we start decorating here in the next couple weeks. I know, don't come for me. It's, it's my time. It's my time to shine. We got two of the peanut M&M's. I got one for us. So the regular and the peanuts for us, I'm going to mix them and put them in candy dishes when it's time. And then y'all know, I always pick up one for my brother-in-law because that is his jam. So he will be pleasantly surprised to see that. And we've got the pirate's booty and the little Halloween bags coming. That's cute. We got to get that stuff early y'all or you will not see it. And like I said, Christmas will be out in September. Like y'all think I'm lying. Watch. So that's what we got at Sam's club. Little run in at Rouse's. Aldi, Walmart pickup. We got a Thrive Market order in. I'll talk to you guys about that in a second. And then $75 Walmart grocery pickup. That does not include two things that are being shipped to the house, which were probably $20 of that 70 something dollars. So I'll show you that when it gets here. Not much, you guys know we had a big haul last week. If you didn't check it out, check it out. And we're just trying to fill things in and stock up on some things we use on a daily. So I got a head of lettuce for the crack burgers. Y'all know the crack chicken. I have that here on my channel. There is a Pinterest recipe for a crack burger that looks delicious. So we're going to try that and I'm lettuce wrapping mine. Hubs also uses this for sandwiches for lunch. Y'all know the drill with the organic bananas. Had to re-up on those. Y'all, Ibotta rebates. If you aren't signed up with Ibotta, look down below. I have a link that will get you $10, I think, when you submit your first receipt if you join my team. Y'all know I've been doing this almost every single week. They get $2.25 back for each four pack on the Too Good Yogurt. 
and it makes it cheaper than Sam's Club. And Trey actually ate his last one this morning before he left to get groceries. So we actually needed these. And this is a great deal. So we got the vanilla, the mixed berry, and the strawberry. And I'm going to get $2.25 back on each of those. And you can roll your money that you get back into a Walmart gift card and apply it on your next order since you shop there all the time. So why not? So Bonnie was doing a bunch of buy one, get one free incentives on Ibotta this week. I was happy to see the Chobani Complete. I have not tried it personally, but Trey has tried it. But if you are in a deficit or if you're looking for something higher in protein, they're 20 grams of protein and 170 calories. So not the best protein calorie ratio versus some of our protein shakes. But if you're looking for something maybe a little bit tastier, but they were buy one, get one free. So I got him two of the cookies and cream and school starting back. And y'all know I like to pack those shakes for him for his morning snack. So I have to start getting that in the fridge again. We haven't done them really for the summer that much. And then the Chobani Zero Sugar, y'all know I love the vanilla and the toasted coconut or whatever it is from Target. They don't sell that one at Walmart, but I like the vanilla too. And they were buy one, get one free. So it was a no-brainer. So I'm going to get a bunch of cash back for the yogurt stuff. I got some Velveeta shreds to put in those crack burgers to make them melty and delicious. The Fairlife Milk, this doesn't even last a couple of days in our house. I really should buy two of them. I I'm trying not to because I'm trying to make sure that they kind of ration it out, but they fighting over it and they're not doing that. Got the Hidden Valley Light Ranch dressing. Y'all know I've been buying the great value one for Trey, but I'm gonna be doing those buffalo chicken macaroni and cheese meal prep lunch bowls. I should have that here for you guys here soon as far as a short video or on my Instagram, but I like the Light Ranch is my favorite and it's less calories. It's million dollar though. I've mentioned that before. So I got the smaller bottle versus the big one. I did get the original beef jerky. Y'all know I love this stuff and me and the hubs are flying through it. I pack this for a snack all the time. It's 17 grams of protein and 100 calories and there's a lot in there. A lot of you guys have like, thank you so much for telling me because some of the like Jack Link's wins are super tiny. You get like three pieces and you're done and I ain't filling nobody up. There's a lot in there, I will say. I remember I hauled the macaroni and cheese last week, the Ninja Turtles. The boys are obsessed. I think Waylon just likes shapes. He's given me hell before about macaroni not tasting good or not tasting right. The only ones he likes is Paw Patrol, Ninja Turtles, the ones that are shaped and all of a sudden it tastes good. Like, come on, son. And then we got the big family size of the Golden Sweet whole kernel corn. I have one of these on hand, but I wanted to have a backup Taco Tuesday. The boys love that. For that meal prep lunch video, this is the pasta I'm going to be using is the bird's eye veggie pasta. Pasta made from zucchini and lentils, penne with cheddar cheese sauce. So for a serving, it is 170 calories and 10 whopping grams of protein. So we're going to use one serving in that recipe, but I need to get it in the freezer because as you can see, it's already starting to melt with this hot weather, but I needed two bags for that. And then for Taco Tuesday, I wanted to do the Del Monte Veggie Fools Southwest blend. It's been sold out for a couple weeks by me. I hate that because it's my absolute favorite. But instead, we're going to do the Green Giant Corn on the Cob. These are 50 calories a little ear for that. So that'll be good. And that's everything we got at Walmart. Like I said, when the stuff online gets here, I'll show you what we got. Then this was delivered as I was coming home with the pickup. This is from Thrive Market. If you're new to Thrive Market, I have a link down below that will get you $40 off your very first order if you use that link. And I had a credit from one of you guys. Thank you so much for using that link. And I wanted to go ahead and use it because those credits do expire. So I put this towards a purchase. Um, so I wouldn't lose any credit that you guys um, were giving me. So thank you so much. So y'all know that we love the Dave's Killer Bread and Sam's is the best place to get it price wise. They do a lots of sales on Thrive Market. So don't order until they're doing sales all the time. But I got three of the plain awesome ones because y'all know I've been loving the plain ones with the cream cheese. These are 260 calories and 11 grams of protein. And then the Cinnamon Raisin Remix is my favorite versus the Blueberry all-time fave, three of those. And the macros are 270 and 12 grams of protein on those. So I'm going to pop them in the freezer and just take them out. Me and Trey and the Hubs has been flying through the bagel. So they seems like a lot, but they will not go to waste. Another thing that won't go to waste I'm flying through is the fruit, frozen, fresh, all the things. I got the Cascadian Farms. Doesn't have to be organic for me, but this is all they had on site. So I went ahead and got this two pound bag of the frozen cherries. Delicious guys and macros on frozen fruit, fruit of all, all fruit is great for you. 80 calories for a cup. All right. That's so good. I've been loving that just for dessert. Then I've never tried these egg witch by red sandwiches. They sell these at Target. Y'all let me know down below if you've tried these before. 
I got these for the hubby and to see if he likes these. Y'all know we bought the ones from Walmart, the Great Value ones and the Jimmy D ones, and he liked those, but I'm gonna see if he likes these. This green one is the chicken apple sausage made with cage-free eggs. It's two egg patties with sausage and cheese. The macros on these sandwiches, if you're wondering, is 200 calories and 16 grams of protein for that guy. And then this one is the two egg patties with sausage and cheese. Um, but this one's just turkey sausage, chicken, apple sausage. That's the only difference. So this one is a little bit less, 190 calories and 17 grams of protein. So I got him four of each for breakfast to take on the go. Will make my life easy. And then I got some proteins, but I'm going to be honest with you. I would not buy proteins off of Thrive now that I see them in person. I would buy like the name brand stuff because that's all fire and they always have sales. Portions, I will say, are not that big. <laughs> They're not that big. Your girl likes a lot of volume, okay? So I got the beef flank steak. This is 15 ounces. I thought that would be good for an Elise Ellis recipe. She calls for flank steak all the time. And honestly, it's been kind of hard to find around me. So that's why I threw that in cart just because it was convenient. And then some boneless pork chops they looked good and they don't look bad at all but it's definitely more cost effective to get the big pork loin at sam and cut it up yourself that's what i will do next time but these are 160 calories for a four ounce serving and then i got some steaks because we've been doing steak night on saturday if we're not going out to eat and we'll just do it at home with an off-plan meal for myself so i got myself a beef sirloin steak and i got the hubs a ribeye but they look they look kind of puny. <laughs> they look kind of puny. This one doesn't look bad, but the ribeye, I mean, we can get some really bomb looking ribeyes and sirloins around here at Sam's and other places for much less, I will say. So I, I'm not trashing it, but I just skip the protein, stick with the other stuff that usually see me haul. And then the Thrive Market organic diced beef for stew. So this is like stew meat. You get a pound in there. Again, there is a Elise Ellis crock pot like beef stew recipe I've made in the past. It's bomb. I haven't made it in forever. So I got that for that recipe. So that's what we got at Thrive. I love Thrive. You guys know, but I like it for the name brand stuff because I always put on sale versus like Whole Foods or Target. It's much cheaper. Pass on that. That's just my honest review. And then Wally World this week for a fill in grocery haul. My online orders from Walmart came in. So I got these shorts. I have like three or four pair that I bought last year. I should have bought them when I saw them in store, the different colors that I don't have because I have been living in these this summer. I am obsessed. So first off, they have like a little drawstring in the front. If they're too loose in the waist, I don't have that problem. These are a medium and they also have the built-in underwear, which I absolutely love for these hot months so you don't like sweat through your underwear. You can just like sweat on this, you know what I'm saying? And it's cool wicking so it dries quick. But this blue tie-dye was just screaming to me. They only had this one in one other color left in stock. Y'all know they're phasing out all the freaking summer stuff and like they have coats out and it's 102 degrees where I live anyway. It's madness. So I was like, well, let me get it before it's gone because legit, again, I've been wearing these every single day. Like it has been my, my staple for 102 degree heat. And they are just 1098. Love them so much. The brand is the Athletic Works, if you are wondering. And then I did get the Great Value Swiffer knockoff duster refills. You get 18 in here. I'll put the price up for these. They were so much cheaper than Sam's Club. I usually get the Swiffer name brand one from Sam's in the big pack. This is like half the price per refill. So I will update you guys later and let you know if they work like the Swiffer. I hope so, because this was killer. But they don't have them in my store. I had to get them shipped, which was totally fine for that price. So those are the two items I had to get shipped to me that they didn't have in my actual store. These shorts are a must, guys. So that's gonna do it for this week's video. If you enjoy these, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. That helps me out so much. Thank you so much for doing so. And if you're new, I'd love to have you. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and make sure the bell is clicked so you're notified every single Wednesday when we upload a new grocery haul. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful in showing you some macro-friendly foods on your journey, some fun foods for your kiddos and fun things for your yourself and we'll see you in next week's video. Bye guys.